I will be showing you how to make this design on this outfit step by step. It has been a requested video and let's do this today. This is what our result is going to look like as you can see right here. We're going to do this step by step. But there is a caveat. In the pocket area, I did something a little bit different. But it is the same and it is different. You're going to understand. It's just basically just a line that I did at this place. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video and make sure you smash the like button. It is very, 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 very important. Just in case you're watching this video on your phone right now, under this particular video, you're going to see a red subscribe button or whichever color. And if you're yet to subscribe, just click on that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to get notified when I upload a newer video. That's how to subscribe. It's very simple. So let's get into the video. So the very first thing I believe is that you already cut out your basic bodice, right? Which is your senator. In case you haven't seen the video of how to do that, I, you can just check the channel. So we already cut out our neck, our arm hole and every other part. So the very first thing we're going to need to do now, make sure you mark your wrong side. This is the wrong side of my fabric. So the very first thing we are going to do now is to cut this part in which we want to do our design at. So from the middle part, from the center part of the outfit, I, I just try to change the camera so that you can see it clearly. From the center part right here, I want my design to be like um, outside of my, around my shoulder area. So that will be 3.5 inches from the center part. So I'm going to mark 3.5 inches so that there will be space between my neck and the design, right? So 3.5 inches, I'm going to mark it here. You can see that and here also, I'll mark 3.5 inches all the way down so, by the way don't forget i'm cutting this at the left side of my hand right this is going to the design is going to be at the left side so look at my hand and this is the right side so you know we are cutting in the front fabric this is not the wrong part this is the right part of the fabric so that i'm going to understand what i'm doing so i'm going to mark this place also this is the right side of the fabric that i'm chalking not the wrong side so I'm cutting, I'm marking this at the left because this is going to be at the left hand of my body, right? So I'm going to connect this together. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. God, like I'm just, I don't know. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to like connect this all the way down. You can see that. So after getting this middle line, which I want my design to be, I will simply cut it out basically after cutting this out when we fold our um, design back after we finish the design there will be an extension of this side in which because we're going to be adding two inches so we just have to trim that out that's why i usually prefer to just use my basic bodice design so i'll just cut this part out so you see what i have here so this is where our design is going to be just in the middle of that place so as said earlier, we are going to, after we do our design, we are going to cut out some of the, um, the SS at this side, right? Because design is going to add an extra two inches in the middle area, right? So we are going to trim out that part. So the next thing we are going to do now is to cut out the design itself. This is the, um, this will be the under layer for the design. And I cut this at a total of 2.5 inches, as you can see right here. I call this at 2.5 inches. That will be what will be in the middle. So I'll be stitching this by a quarter of an inch at the side. And the other side too is going to be a quarter of an inch. That means I'll be taking half of an inch outside of this. And what I'll be having at the end of the day is going to be two inches in the middle. That will be our total design, which is going to be two inches in the middle. So I hope you guys understand. So the black that is going to be at the inside of this, I'll cut that at three inches. I'll cut that at three inches. So when I'm folding half of an inch at each side, I'll be having two inches in the middle, which will be inside of this one. I believe you guys understand that. So I call this at three inches. You can see what I have. I call this at three inches. Let me show you. Three inches. So I'll be folding half of an inch at each side. If I fold half of an inch here and I fold half of an inch, you can see half of an inch and I'll fold half of an inch at this side also. At the end of the day, I'll be having two inches which will definitely fit inside of this first one that we cut. Which will fit inside of this first one that we cut. I believe you guys are getting the point of what we are doing now. I'm just trying to explain it so that you're going to have an understanding. So I cut four pieces of this 
four pieces of this which are the strap which are like the belt strap right four pieces of this so i cut this at widening the same widening with our our first layers which is the 2.5 inches you can see this 2.5 inches and i cut the height at 5 inches i cut the height at 5 inches because i'll be folding one one inch at the sides i'll be folding one one inch at the side and the main main like, wideness of it is going to be at three inches at the end of the day so i just cut all of these pieces so that i will take you guys to the ironing table and we can like um add interfacing to all of them step by step before we go into the sewing aspect so now on this black very first thing we're going to do is get you i'm trying to like get the um the wrong part okay so this is the wrong part for the i'm just going to chalk this you can see that so on this one my interfacing right i'm using the soft interfacing nothing too serious a light not too hard not too soft um i call this at a total of two inches exactly you can see that two inches and i'll simply place this at the middle of the black fabric you see that i'll place it at the middle and i will simply iron it down i'll iron it all the way down you can see iron it all the way down so after ironing it all i have to do now is to simply fold this backward just like this i'll fold each side all the way to the down and make sure that edge is very very smooth and sharp that is the important part of the issue make sure the edge is smooth and sharp so i'm going to iron it all the way down and this is what you are going to be having you can see that you can see how sharp those edges are that is the main important if you're liking this video so far make sure you smash that like button it is important and on this one which is the smaller one what i'll be doing here is it's about to rain again jesus okay what i'll be doing here is i'm just going to let me run uh, i'm going to mark the wrong side so that i will make sure I'm, I'm working with the right side of the fabric so right now on the um interfacing also i cut the interfacing at the exact measurement that i want which is the wideness is going to be the same wideness as of the um the, the fabric itself which is 2.5 inches right and the height is going to be three inches because the strap itself is going to be a total of three inches three inches so now all i'll be doing now is to simply place it at the middle just at the center of the fabric so that i'll have something to fold at each side you can see that so make sure there's something at both sides so after that i'm just going to iron it down you see that i'm just going to iron it down you can see what i'm doing and at each side that's why we left space there oh this place is not as well uh, let me just make that place red okay you can see that so now i'm just going to like fold each side just like this make sure it's straight and i'm going to iron it down also at this place it's very important that maybe you add an in, um like um emmy gum to it to hold it down I, I i i will add an emmy gum to it actually to hold it down so that it will not like be moving around and also on the black which is the belt which is the one like belt i also add an emmy gum at the side also in order to hold this one also down so this is the kind of thing we're trying to do so we're going to stitch the quarter of an inch at the side you can see that so the same thing i did here i'm going to do it on all of this one also before we go to the sewing machine and align them together so this is what we are going to be having so far you see this and here this is what we're trying to achieve see that we're going to simply align it all the way down but the most tricky part is aligning it to like adding it to the fabric itself so we're going to like mark the fabric so let me just get the fabric so that we can align them together so just like this and the other side also let me just let me pack all of this outside of here you can see that you can see let me just align this other side make sure it is connected together just like this so here i will be taking out you know our total design our total that, that belt loop that thing that that this, these ones they're at three inches right so i'll be leaving a space from my shoulder i'll be leaving a space of three inches down here from my shoulder i'll be leaving a space of three inches you can see that and i'm going to simply mark that just like that you see that 
so from that place also there will be a space of three inches in between so the spacing is going to be three inches interval to one another you can see that three inches here and here also i'll add a space of three inches you can see that i'm going to do that all the way down just do it gradually till you get we're using four pieces of that bell strap right four pieces of that strap i'm just going to like mark it all the way down so we can simply place it like this you can see that just like this and just like this to the down part in between our 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 fabric right in between the main bodies so this this type of style um this is what we are trying to like achieve you can see after marking it all the way down the next thing we are going to do now is here i will be taking this to the sewing machine now make sure the right side of the fabric is facing the right side of the bodice itself you can see just align it like this and i'll be taking the first side you can see that on this first side right here in between that 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 first line you can see i i had an emmy gum to this so that is going to hold this down i told you guys in the first place that I'm, i'll be adding an emmy gum so make sure the interfacing area is facing up you can see that so th just that our first three inches i will be placing it in between you can see that i'll place it in between and here also make sure you're working with the right side the right side has to be facing the right side and i'm going to place it over like this you can see that and i'll stitch it all the way down and at each steps i'll be placing I'll, I'll leave the extra three inches in between place it at the other 30 inches and i'll be placing it all the way down to the last line so let's do that step by step just here simply place this right here make sure you're stitching a quarter of an inch this is very 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 important make sure you're stitching a quarter of an inch at that beginning like don't mess up that please because if you stitch anything more than that you're going to have your design looking like it's not going to key in very well the black is not going to like key in very well of that place so make sure you're stitching a quarter of an inch and leave a space at the top that's why I left a, an excess fabric at the top so that I'll be able to trim out my shoulder. So you can see what I'm stitching. You can see what I'm stitching. Just a tiny stitch. You can see that. You can see that. So I'm just going to stitch it all the way down. You can see this is exactly what we're trying to get. You see that? So totally after finishing this, this is what we're going to be having. You can see this in total. So the next thing we're going to do now is to simply align this. Just place the um, the belt loop over just like this. Make sure they are balanced. You see that? And I will just take the other part. You can see the back right here we're going to like weave that part later i'm just going to take the other part place it just like right here a little bit below make sure it doesn't go above that fabric so that you're going to still have your shoulder slant just like this and i'm going to like stitch it all the way down to hold the other strap right and make sure at this place also you're not stitching above a quarter of an inch make sure you're not stitching above a quarter of an inch and simply stitch it all the way down you can see that you can see that if you're enjoying this video so far and you're yet to smash the like button i don't understand why 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 what why are you doing this <laughs> all right so just make sure you're on the street and you're not stitching above three, a quarter of an inch i'm saying that again again and again so make sure so this is what we're going to be having so far 
I'm still teaching this part. Take your time, take your time, take your time. You can see that. So this is what we're going to be having. You can see this is the design we're looking at. See what we have. All I have to do now is to give it a good ironing. And when you look at the center part, you can see I'm having two inches in the middle. You see that? So our black will easily go inside of that smoothly without cap. Okay, so here is what we're going to be having. And all I have to do now is to give it a good ironing. So from the back side also, I will be giving it, I will be ironing it from the back side also. And also at the front panel, at the front area, I will be ironing it before we simply put our black. But first, let me just put the black so that you're going to see how... Okay, I just give this a rough ironing. I will still be using a steam iron to balance it all well. But first, on this black also, I place um, an emmy gum to hold each side. Right? So I'm just going to like place this black the belt inside just like this you can see that just like this you can see that all the way down so we have i'm still going to add something to that place for my i i did a different design i believe you guys have seen it in the introduction i'll be adding a black before i add my pockets to that place an extension of black to that place before I had my pocket. So make sure you align your black. Make sure they are set and they are accurate. See that? Align it very well and make sure that place is as smooth as possible. You can see that? Take your time to make sure this place are key in very well. And that two inches is not excessive or something. You can see that? So at this shoulder, you can see that we have an SS at this place. I'm still going to trim that part out. We're going to trim out our excess on the side also. But first, um, align this place very well. It's very important. And after that, I'm going to just drag this place a little bit down. You can see that so that we have um, fabric to work with. You can see. So after that, I'm going to fold this from my center part. I'm going to fold it and trim out my excess on the side and on the shoulder area also. So let me fold this. Let me, align, let me fold the center part. You can see. So we have to trim out the SS part. So from this shoulder area first. Okay, before I call this, let me make sure the down part is aligned very well. It is very, very important. The down part is aligned very well. And I'm going to trim out from the shoulder. You can see that. And trim out my ham O. can see and I will trim out the side the, the, this thing with you we trim out is the design which is a total of two inches it is the design in which we added right that's why we're having this SS at this place so far if you yet to smash the like button smash the like button that's what I'm going to say okay so you see what we're having now so what we're having now this is what we will be having so far. In case you don't, you, you already cut your borders to your length, the length in which you want to be working with. You don't need to add an extra black inches that, um, extra black fabric that I'll be adding. But because I want a different design, that's why I decided to add this. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the pocket area applying. So I already joined my shoulder and joined my sleeve, as you can see. And all I have to do now is to add, add my pocket to the design itself so i want you guys to pay attention because the pocket is also a design so here for the belt strap i'm just going to fold it and put an emmy gum under it before tackling it to the pocket so to the pocket i already cut out the fabric i'll be using i cut the black and the yellow in separate separate color and i iron it and i apply a fusing under it you can see so all i have to do is just to align this at the side and that black area has to be in line with the yellow area you can see so the total height of the pocket is going to be at three inches from that yellow area so i'll be folding in the other ones for my pocket for my pocket opening you can see that so i'll be i'll be folding that part i'll be folding the side also and i'm going to make a cuff 
at the down part then I'm, i'll cover the down part and fold it and make sure it doesn't go beyond that black area right that black fabric so let me do that and let's stitch that together so this is what we're going to be having you can see how smooth that is make sure that is very sharp you can see I have my pocket wideness is a total of six inches right so the six inches now has to be divided in between my pocket so the center part is going to be at two inches right so the other two inches has to be on this side the other two inches has to be on this side so i'm going to align it you can see that and this other side too has to be at two inches you see that so i already put an aiming gum on this and all i'll be doing is just iron it and i'll be tacking my button at that place so align the yellow and black at the down part you can see make sure that side is aligned this way i'll be putting my button i'll just tack it you can see that so i'm going to stitch this and show you guys the final result so after stitching this this is what we're going to be having so far so if you like the video you can see i already tack my button you can see how smooth that place is I already tack my button and this is what you're going to be having all the way from the top to the down so if you like the video make sure you smash the like button and you can watch this other one also